Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel! Today I have a fun challenge video for you guys. I realized by doing my all of the books I've read in 2019 video that, <clears throat> sorry, I didn't read uh, any French classic last year. And that's something I want to do more of. I want to reread like my favorite favorite ones. I want to reread the one I really didn't like when I went through high school and I had to read them. And I want to discover French author and see if I, uh, how I feel about them. And I thought it would be fun if you want to come along with me in the experience and we can read them together. So I've set up a um, caravan on the, on the caravan app. Um, it's a dis Discord server where we can chat together about books and I created one for French classics so we can talk about them there all year long and choose the next one we want to read and everything. So the first one I want to read in January is The Petit Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. It's a well-known book book in French in France. Oof, am I gonna speak today? Um, it's quite a short sweet story for kids with um, drawings, amazing drawings by the author which are quite cool and beautiful and um, it, ha it has a philosophical meanings behind it for adults. So I've read it when I was younger and um, I want to read it now to see if I get into the depth of the story and uh, how I feel about it. So this is the first one I want to reread this year. It was written in 1940. So yeah, if you want to join me, please, please, please do. I would love to chat about it with you. So the first one I want to read is Le Petit Prince, uh, which is edited in many, many, many languages. So you can read it, of course, in English, but if it's not your first language, then you can read it in whatever uh, you read and we can talk about it together. And I have other su suggestions for the rest of the year. So let me go through them and you tell me how you feel about them and what would you like to read with me. So first, I really like Jules Verne and um, his stories of exploring and adventures. Um, I've read um, 2000 Leagues Under the Sea. The, um, I, I'm translating those in my head, so that might not be the right title, but um, Around the World in 80 Days and, and um, Voyage au Centre de la Terre. So, trip to the center of the earth. <laughs> I don't know, I'll put it here, I think, in English for you guys. And I really wanted to read another one this year. And a few days ago, um, I went to a bookstore because of course, and they had those beautiful, amazing um, Chauvin edition books. They have all of them in this edition, but this is the next one I want to read, which is Cinq Semaines en Ballon, which might be five weeks in balloon or montgolfière it's, it's this um so they they have designs in them um and everything's so beautiful it's not really easy in france to find hard covers and beautiful artwork hard covers i know it's a big thing um for you americans and and english but um british but um, it's not really common in France. Uh, actually, you'll see with the next ones to have big, um, nice edition. Uh, two years ago, I've read Les Misérables um, by Victor Hugo and enjoyed it. And now I want to read Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. Uh, it's the story, um, the Hunchback of Notre Dame is based on this story. So quite a chunky one. But yeah, excited about this. Then of course, uh, La Belle et la Bête, The Beauty and the Beast. Um, never, never read the classic before. It's quite short. I didn't thought it would be that short, but um, yeah, I want to read that as well. Next one I want to read Madame Bovary by Flaubert. Uh, it's a French classic. I actually never read it in school and I want to check out what it, it is about. It's quite of a chunky one as well, but it, it's written as quite small in them. 
those editions are editions for school uh, and it's actually the only kind of nice edition you can find for um, classics in French it's like the, the school one so there there are this format that we have for every single book in French which is called mass paperback I think in English but it, for us it's just whatever we don't have the pay, the nice paperback like this size so we have this I don't really like it if you can see my face um, then I want to read two Voltaire, uh, L'Ingenu. I, I really like Voltaire. I've read um, Candide in high school and I remember this, one of the few I actually liked and enjoyed. So I want to reread it now as an adult and see how I, I feel about it. And um, I've read a few years ago Zadig as well and I, I liked it. So one. And the other one is L'Ingenu by Voltaire as well. Don't really know anything about it, but it's Voltaire, so I want to check it out. And the last novel I want to read is Marcel Pagnol, La Gloire de Mon Père. Marcel Pagnol is a writer from Marseille, uh, which is uh, where I grew up. And I've seen them, they, they did movies and growing up, we used to watch them again and again and again with my sister and really like it. I, I think I remember the story, but um, I really I never read it, so I really want to read it and see what I think about it. And the next one I don't have yet that I've ordered, but don't have yet is um, Le Comte de Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas, um, which some of it happens in Marseille as well. <laughs> that's the main thing. That's why I want to read it. I want to check out how uh, Marseille is pictured in there. And it's quite of a big one and chunky one, but it's also, uh, I think, one of the that I've heard the most talked about on YouTube, so you guys might know about it as well. So I'm done with the novels now, and I have two plays I want to read. It's both Molière, you have Shakespeare in English, we have Molière in French, and I've read uh, quite a few of them in high school, but um, I want to check them out now. I um, actually never read any of those two. So first one is Tartuffe and second one is L'Ecole des Femmes, the school for ladies. Um, I actually never heard of this one before but uh, I saw it in the library in, at the bookstore and I said well why not check this out. And the last one is Poetry. Um, I know uh, Les Fleurs du Mal, the flowers of evil is quite well known outside of France, um, but I read it when I was in high school and I remember, oh my god, I, are we done with this book? <laughs> I can't talk about this book anymore, I don't get it, I don't understand it. And when I saw it on the list of the most uh, French classic, the most famous French classics, I was like, oh no, please no. <laughs> I, read, I would read other poetry, but not, not Le Fleur du Mal. And then I thought about it and high school is more than 10 years ago for me so i think my opinion might have changed quite a lot uh, on this i remember it talked a lot about sexuality and nudity and desire and it was really not something i was comfortable talking about growing up but now maybe <laughs> i feel more comfortable but at least i feel more comfortable reading about it so i want to check out my thoughts on this now and challenge myself to read it so yeah that's the last um that's the last book uh i have as a suggestion for this challenge and uh please join me and if you know about any other french classic that i haven't mentioned it wanted to go um please leave me a comment and if you want any um further in depth description or review of those books uh, we'll do it once I read them, uh, but if you want one in particular, uh, please tell me now so I can make it a priority. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I see you in another video. Bye!